Right, we go to Division 3 and uh, a league this dear to your own heart, Armagh. It was in the athletic grounds I got. <laughs> if down mugged <laughs> Kildare, certainly the uh, Armagh mugged Tipperary. But to be fair to Armagh, came back and scored three points in the last two minutes to win the game, just about. Yeah, it showed great discipline and composure to come back at that stage. But, you know, um, maybe a lot of people are underestimating the, the, the threat of Tipperary as well. Tipperary are no bad side. And, you know, they constantly compete against the likes of Cork and Kerry in the Munster Championship every year. They are the closest contenders to those two teams in Munster. So, you know, they're always going to come up to Armagh and cause difficulties. Um, from an Armagh point of view, especially when Tipperary had a man sent off, I was disappointed that they didn't really kick on and, and win the game more comfortably. But they left it late. And listen, the reality is it was a very important victory at the end. You know, a, a, an important victory for Kieran McGinney, who got off the winning start as well. He won't be particularly happy with the level of performance, but you know it gives him a lot to work on in the training ground over the next couple of weeks. You look at leagues and you say some teams just want to stay in their own league and they're not that particularly concerned. I would have thought from an Armagh perspective this is a vital league. I think Armagh need to get promoted from Division 3. They're not a Division 3 team. No, I don't think they are a Division 3 team to be honest. And that's not taking anything away from the teams that's in there, but um, you have to base it on maybe previous championship campaigns as well and Armagh almost got to an all Ireland semi-final last year and that, that in itself proves that you know they're not a Division 3 team. Um, it's a very important league campaign for Armagh, they have to gain promotion immediately. They can't lie it in that division for the next year or two and expect them to come good in the, in the next few years. If Armagh have any aspirations, this, this is the year to get out of Division 3, get themselves back in Division 2 for next year and give the Ulster Championship this year a good um, a good challenge because they have the players capable of doing so but the league campaign is, is the first priority and, and winning as many games as possible to gain promotion is, is their priority. We talked about Division 2 being a bit of a nightmare you know what I mean it's difficult and it's hard to know who would go up or who would go down. It's like, you know, There's some real dog fights there in Division 3. They, they, you talk about RMA are very important. It's not going to be easy against the likes of Limerick, Clare. You know, I think the temporary result was significant for RMA yeah. but I still think you know there's Fermanagh in there as well too. Like, you, know, you should really be beaten for Armagh. You would expect Armagh to beat most of these teams, but they are going to face stiffer challenges than what people expect them to face. Um, Fermanagh have got off to a good, good decent start this year on the Pete McGrath. They had a decent McKenna Cup campaign and a very convincing win over a very poor like, team, must be said, last weekend. So um, Fermanagh will expect themselves to be challenging towards the promotion end of the league campaign as well. Then you look at, at the Munster teams, Clare, Tipperary and Limerick, you know, three very difficult opponents on any given day and Armagh are on the road a lot this year as well, so you know that makes life a wee bit more difficult, so it's going to be a tough division for any team to get out of, and in particular Armagh, because most of the teams that they'll be playing will want to raise their game to beat them. Uh, one team that might get out of that league, uh, but maybe going the wrong way, could be Louth, you know, your neighbour down there in, in round Armagh, Louth are very poor at the moment aren't they? Louth are poor, there's no doubt about it. They haven't got the quality that was there over the last couple of years and you know, their key player over the last eight, nine years, Paddy Keenan, has opted out of the squad and that's a huge psychological and mental blow for, for Louth um, to be facing into on their new um, guide, the guidance of new managers as well. And, you know, I just think Louth overall are going to struggle. I was involved with a, with a team last year in the Louth Championship and the Louth Leagues and the quality just really isn't there to be honest and you know when it comes down to the nitty gritty of, of winning key important games I guess Louth will fall short in most games. So the Pookies have it right certainly about winning this league, Armagh the team to beat? Armagh are the team to beat, there's no doubt about it. Um, you know it was a slow start from the last weekend but expecting to kick on and put in more impressive performances as the league campaign goes on.